Good morning, YouTube. Good afternoon. Good evening, wherever it is that you are when you're viewing this video. I am Honey B. I'm here to deliver another daily buzz for you guys. Welcome to my new subscribers. Welcome back to my returning subscribers, my day ones, those of you who have been rocking with me and the channel. Um, from the start, I do appreciate each and every last one of you, you guys. Um, cross watchers, you are welcome here as well. If you just so happen to stumble across this video and you see something that you like or hear, feel free to join our colony by hitting the subscribe button. You may also hit the notification bell so that you can be notified when I do upload content to the channel. I offer personal readings, you guys. If you're interested in a personal reading, check the description box down below. My contact information is listed there. Uh, what else? Tell a friend to tell a friend, of course. We're going to go ahead and dive right into the reading, y'all. Let's see what the universe, the divine spirit wants us to know on today. What kind of energy is buzzing around my collective? What do we need to be made weary of? Let's see. I only wish to communicate with high vibration, vibrational beings only um, for the most accurate and clear messages. So let's see what the universe wants us to know. What kind of energy is buzzing around my collective spirit? What do we need to know? What does my collective need to know? What do we need to know, spirit? Scorpio is under the deck. Um, I hear manipulative. Manipulation is here. Crone is here. Um, they're asking you at this time, like you're, you may be a literal oracle, <laughs> you know, this is the honeypot oracle. So you may get messages from higher up. Like you have a clear understanding of the, I hear underworld. Um, Hmm. What else spirit fire is here. So this may be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, fire energy, maybe significant. I hear, I also hear a sea beyond the lust. Like they're saying to control your temptations, what you're tempted by. They're, you need to have more discipline at this time. Or you may need to see through someone's desires beyond the, beyond the lust. Like it's almost like. You know, um, beyond the physical sexual attraction, the temptation of this person, what is it that this connection brings you? Right? I hear nothing. <laughs> Someone say nothing. So if, if it brings you nothing, you guys, you're being asked to detach. They're showing me a sword, like cut the cord. So some of you may have researched cord cutting or you may want to. Um empath yeah you're you you're an empath right this i hear energy vampire i saw vampire under the deck earlier but i didn't pull it chrome with empath you you guys are psychics you may definitely be fire signs or you may have that in your chart somewhere water is here which is um cancer pisces scorpio which they typically are referred to as the psychics of the zodiac you are very spiritually tapped in like i feel like your third eye is bust wide the fuck open with this like you're on fire with this shit i hear like blow out your fire like blow out your candle um so someone may come in and try to dim your shine because this crone she has a literal light over her head there's two uh fireballs here which is also light even in the dark if a fire is lit a light is lit you see that flame right um you have a, a burst of light here in this empath card and you also have water like someone i feel like someone wants to blow out your candle someone is jealous they, they may feel like you toot your own horn because you have a uh you're confident you're very confident in what it is that you do right this person is a trickster Someone's coming in with some with some tricky energy, some manipulative energy, right? You may be extroverted. Um, a goddess, like you may have a platform. You may speak on certain things, like you may be in your energy. Uh, 
where you deliver messages. It's just something about you. Like your light bothers this person. Your goddess. Your goddess energy. This is divine feminine energy. High priestess energy. Like you're a literal crone or oracle. But this has been. This is came through from a past life. You have been this for many lifetimes. Also if you're not on this journey. Um, they want you to. I hear past life reading. Um, I had a past life reading y'all. Which they pushed me onto my journey um the reader that provided that reading for me was made is made m-a-i-d the number four love l-u-v her birthday was yesterday actually happy birthday beautiful happy belated um taurus is significant you may be a taurus as well um something i hear something is going to be blossoming for you in this taurus season like your voice is going to be heard. But th listen, this is this is this has been brought over with you from a past life. You were this in a past life. I hear Miss Cleo. <laughs> so you are definitely psychics. You guys are definitely psychics, right? What's, I feel like someone is coming in to dull your shine. People are so mean, y'all. People are so evil. This may be a karmic that passed that followed you in from a past life as well. What else, spirit? They don't like your confidence. Someone does not like your confidence. It bothers the hell out of this person. Your light really fucks with their darkness. What else? Tell me about this trickster. Who is this trickster? Who is this trickster? Who is this trickster? It's a sage here. So this is like a dark wizard, y'all. This is somebody. Oh my God. Who is this energy? Trickster with sage. That's not good. And look what's under the deck, y'all. This with attic. This is someone that, that lives in their in their shadow side. Libra is here. Um, so this may be a Libra that you're dealing with. This is someone that's trying to blind you from justice. This person is coming into serving injustice, right? This is Medusa energy here. But this may be someone who's blinded by their own truth. This may be someone like, like I said, your, your, your light fucks with their darkness. This is all dark energy here, right? This is someone who missed, they don't know their own path. Like they don't know themselves. They don't have a, a strong self-awareness of them. They have not yet mastered themselves, which is why your energy is so, um, blind into this person. Cause this is someone who lives in darkness. This is someone, they don't play fair. This person does not play fair. They'll do and say whatever it is to sway the narrative this is someone that's wounded as well this person has not done any healing work this is this is what's up this person has not done any healing work also this person may have stabbed you in the back this libra card with this wound like this this looks like someone has been there they put a sword in your back and they they, like they pulled it down. Like this person has stabbed you in the back multiple times. Like even in past lives. This is a this is a karmic energy that follows you over lifetimes. What is it with this person? What else, spirit? What else? What else? What else does my collective need to know? What else? Cancer energy is here. So you may have this in your chart or this person may have. Listen, this I feel like this person, because this sage, it gives me like the magician in reverse vibes. This is a manipulative energy. So if you have spiritual gifts, this person does as well. But you two, you play for, you, you play for opposing teams. Like this is almost like opposites attract type of energy here. The moon is here. This person has a lot of, they have hidden knowledge as well, but this person also keeps a lot of secrets. And it says like extrovert, but I saw introvert under the deck. So this person, they don't, they don't have too much confidence. This person also, I hear a lack of words. They don't never have too much to say, but this is because this person has a lot to hide y'all. This person has a lot to hide. 
CEO, you may be the boss of something, or this person may be, or this may be someone that just wants to come in and take charge. They want to take charge of the situation. They want to be in control. I hear like control how you move. So this person may not want to you to move away from them. This person doesn't want this this uh, chapter between you and them to close. This person is very mysterious though. Like very mysterious. I feel like you are more open and honest about your spirituality, your gifts. And this person, theirs is hidden. It's almost like this person don't even may not even know that they possess these gifts. Because they're so far into their shadow. Into the dark side. I heard the dark side. You know, also with this CEO card, it's reminding me of the show Charmed, like the OG the OG series. If you remember Leo, y'all, he was a dark angel, right? When he was on a 3D on the earthly realm. Um, he was almost like a CEO, if I'm not mistaken. He wore suits, right? But he was also the leader of the underworld. So you may be higher, you are higher ranking in a spiritual realm, but this person ranks highly in the underworld. I hear like an underlord. Is that a thing? Is that what they call them? Underlord? This shapeshifter energy. This person can be exactly who you need them to be. Very magician in reverse type energy. It's like they, they want the world to be in their hands, right? Oh, they, also, they also may want to use you and the gifts you have for their own personal gain. What else? What else? Ew, y'all. Um, friend. So this person may, like I said, they may come in trying to befriend you. And they may like, you know, they give off the impression that they care. Like they have the gift of, gift of gab. They can, they know exactly what to say and when. So that things can go in their favor. They see you as very caring. And you may have been a caregiver to this person in a past life. I don't know why I hear caregiver. Like you may have been this person's parent in a past life. You may have been their caregiver. Or this person could have been in foster care. And you took this person in. This person feels like they can you like you're easily manipulated. It's almost like they want to manipulate you. You're very nurturing and caring. This person is someone that preys off people's um empathy. They know that you have a strong desire to help, that you're willing to help. And this is what this person preys on, right? You may be a Pisces. There's a lot of water, water energy here. Visionaries in reverse. So this person may be coming in to block your vision. Block what you already know. I hear infiltrate. This is this is spiritual attacks. This is an attack on you spiritually. Capricorn energy is here. Devil energy. Like I said, you see that toxic shit over here? This person wants to keep you bound. They want to keep you from um fulfilling your destiny. I feel like you're sent here to raise the vibration. Hmm. This person may be wanting to, like I said, you rank highly in the spiritual realm. This person is a, I almost hear like, like I said, they, they rank highly in, highly in the underworld. This person may want, be wanting, their mission may be to bring you over to the dark side. Oh, wow. They coming in a blind you, y'all. Pisces again is very intuitive. You have Pisces, you have Cancer, you have Water, Empath, you have Chrome. Not only that, fire signs. They're very intuitive as well. People sleep on fire, the fire signs, but they're very intuitive. Very. Which anyone is intuitive, y'all. I'm not, you know, leaving anyone out of this equation. I'm just reading the messages as I see. This person is coming to put your spark out. You know, also in the charm series, the underworld, when they went under there, there was often fire in the background going going up. This person wants to bring you over to the dark side. That's their mission. They're coming in to blind you. Like I said with this Libra card, if you look at this card, this person has litter litter has something over their eyes. Their eyes are being blinded from the truth. We have visionary in reverse. This person is coming in to block your vision. They're coming into bringing confusion to make you misunderstand, right? What else? 
introvert look it comes out again this person is sent here and sent to silence you you have extrovert and introvert this they're sent in to silence you if you look at these two cards i hope there's no glare y'all if you see this person they're very very handsome this is a very handsome person this person may be very attractive this person is being sent in as a temptation you see the suit and tie look the businessman approach this person is coming in as an upstanding character but when the lights go off this this is what this person turns into this is literally cool from the charm series this person comes in as a ceo or boss this is how they present themselves but this person has some has some darkness this person houses a lot of darkness. Capricorn energy. That's devil energy, y'all. This person may be a Capricorn or may have this in their chart. Yeah, look, this person is a rebel. Rebel. They don't, I feel like they, they don't feel like the rules apply to them. Like, this person is going to be faced with some serious karma. This person is going to have to deal with this. Like, they can't get, a, you can't get away with this, y'all. Like, they're asking you to see this person. I feel like you've seen this person for who they are and literally closing the door on them. Is they're going? That's what's going to make them reap their karma. Gemini is here. This person is two-faced. They cannot be trusted. This person is two-faced. I'm not calling Gemini two-faced, y'all. But we know the Gemini has two sides. Um, The happy mask and the sad mask, right? The You know, this person is meticulous. They see you, they see you as easy prey. <laughs> They see you as easy prey. They may come in as a as a damsel in distress, like someone that's like I come in peace, like they come in peace. But this person wants chaos always. They're asking you to investigate this, investigate, be a detective. They want you to use the discernment, tap into your higher self, right? Also with Lilith, Lilith under the deck. Look, let me show y'all something. This is you, upstanding character, right? Very tapped into your higher self, your higher self, your visionary. You're very tapped into the sacred knowledge that you that you are sent here with. Like you were sent here with all the tools to defeat this person. I heard defeat like this is like this is your arch nemesis, is what I hear. Lilith, you have to tap into your dark energy. You have to tap into your dark energy to deal with this person, right? Because they will use your goodness. They will use your soft, your, 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 the watery parts of you, your empathic nature to try to defeat. They want you to tap into this dark, this dark energy to deal with this person. We house both dark and light within us, y'all. We have to be in total balance to deal with it. And listen, spirit says you have the tools to be just that. This is you in your ethereal form, your higher self form, but this is you. This is your light side. This is your dark side. They want you to be in balance. You're going to need both to, to, to defeat what has been sent towards you? What is all this spiritual warfare on the divine feminine? What is going on? What's wrong with y'all? She's not to be played with. Look, secret love. Secret love. This person may also come in like, you know, they want to keep you a secret. Like they can, they keep their love hidden. Like you can't even see the faces of these two people. This person is wearing a mask. The the. the you know, they come, may come in as love, but behind the love is secrets. This person has secrets. This person has secrets. Look what's under the deck, y'all. Femme fatale. This person is coming in to sink their nails into you. They're coming in to sink their claws into you. Pink may be significant. You may have, that may be your favorite color. Or if this is a feminine that you're dealing with, she may like pink. Look, love her. This is someone that you connect with romantically. And this may be the temptation that this person brings in. You may love this person. Like I see you have a watery nature. So when you love, like you give love, you're very nurturing. Like you have the, the ability to see the potential in others. But remember y'all, spirit wants you to use, they want you to tap into that dark witch side of you to deal with this person. Because this is a femme fatale. This person is going to drain you. You know, and they pro possibly do it with the sex. Hmm. Hmm. This person may have a big wand, a big staff, a big sword, if you will. Or if this is a feminine, she has some good coochie, for lack of a better term. This is, I hear no good. This person is no good for you. This is a literal in energy vampire. Look, traveler is here. Shapeshifter. That's what I get from this. Like shapeshifter energy. This person 
like could be two in two places in one also with this traveler um like i referred to earlier cole from the charm series this person they travel from the earthly realm to the underworld so but i feel like you have those capabilities too you know you could shape shift also in charm they were able to, well phoebe they were able to go into the underworld but they only had a certain amount of time like for before that por portal was closed they want you to tap into your dark energy i hear like meet them on their turf death they're coming into the straw death is also is it scorpio energy this person may have scorpio on their chart doesn't have to be this person is coming to transform you they want to bring you over to the dark side you know why this card is making me think of mortal Kombat? you may like that show or that movie what is it the one that wears the blue it's con literal combat y'all oh wow be be careful this person also death is scorpio that's on some more water energy this person may have that in their chart scorpio is about like obsessions and um the dark side you know things that are hidden this person has a lot of hidden that's hidden also with secret love there's a lot of things that's hidden that they don't want you to reveal some things this person is almost like this person is sent to stop you from delivering messages i hear like stop you from speaking the truth raising the vibration of the collective but it's a spiritual attack this is spiritual warfare if you look like this person on on this horse it's a skeleton this is death this person has no soul right this is only going to cause you anxiety like i said worry anxiety this person is coming in to keep you in your head to keep you up at night to keep you confused they're wanting you to put an end to this person i feel like closing out the chapter with this person it in it relieves you of the anxiety right look eight of swords they're coming in to keep you trapped i can't make this up y'all this person is coming in to keep you trapped there's a lot of swords energy here also on the table what else look nine of pentacles they're coming to throw you off your game they're coming to shake your confidence then i say something about your confidence it, your light it, it it messes with this person's darkness they're coming to throw you off your game they're coming to throw you off your path this is i also often refer to this nine of pentacles as my single sexy and free card so like i said this person may want to take you off of the market but it's ill intentions behind it y'all this person may be coming in to drain you financially they're coming in to take a hit at your self-esteem they're wanting you know some people you got to meet them where they're at they want you to be in that lilith energy to take on this this dark energy you know masking our feminine these readings are not gender based we house both ace of pentacles look they're com coming in to stop your money flow they're coming in to stop this person is only going to delay what is what is inevitable for you you have ace of pentacles not a pentacles that's ten of pentacles this person is coming to stop your legacy they're coming to stop you from fulfilling your mission they're coming to throw you off your game especially if you know you're making a way look the death card is of they're coming to end you this person is sent sent in to end you or in what it is that you have going on like put a stop to it if you're especially if you're on your journey your spiritual journey you're delivering messages this person they don't want your they're trying to silence you they don't want your voice to be heard oh this is deep this is deep real deep look the empress <laughs> empress in reverse this is the dark energy this is a fake divine feminine or divine masculine like i said this person will come in like a boss like they mean you all well but this person don't mean you no good at all y'all be careful with this energy they're coming to take you off your throne i'll see y'all in the next video bye